In this video, I'm going to walk you through the procedure for replacing an existing installation of a retail-based application with an EPX Pay software upgrade on your Ingenico ISC250 terminal. Please review all of the steps in this video before performing the steps on your own terminal to make sure that you feel comfortable performing these steps. If you do not want to perform the upgrade steps, please contact EPX to arrange for your terminal to be replaced with a new terminal that has EPX Pay pre-installed. Before you begin, make sure you have the appropriate equipment that is provided by EPX. The first is a USB storage stick preloaded with the required EPX Pay software and an Ingenico USB transfer cable. This cable connects the USB drive to a special port on the Ingenico terminal. Step 1 is set the date and the time. Begin by simultaneously holding down the minus and the yellow clear key to reboot the terminal. As the terminal reboots, a series of screens will flash. This is very important. Get ready to enter the following sequence of numbers as soon as you see the white copyright screen. The copyright screen appears right after the TSA screen. As soon as the copyright screen appears, quickly enter 2634, enter, enter, and the plus sign. If the sequence was successfully accepted, you will see the function menu. Using the touch screen, select Telium Manager. Then select Initialization. Then select Parameters. Then select Date and Time. Now you're going to select Set Date. And using the yellow clear key, clear out the current date that's in the terminal. Now you're going to enter today's date into the terminal and hit the green button to save. Once the date is saved, it'll return to the menu. Press the red cancel key to exit the menu screen. If the terminal does not exit when you push cancel, you're going to need to reboot the terminal. Begin by simultaneously holding down the minus and the yellow clear key to reboot the terminal. After the terminal reboots, it's time to move on to step 2, which is deleting the current retail base application by entering LLT mode on the terminal. To enter LLT mode, you're going to need to reboot the terminal again by simultaneously holding down the minus key and the yellow clear key. Immediately press and hold the 1 key as soon as you hear the terminal initiate the reboot. Continue pressing the 1 key until you see an asterisk appear on the screen. As soon as you see the asterisk appear, immediately key in 3, 4, 6. If the sequence was accepted, the screen will flash black and then display LLT on the screen. Step 3 is installing the EPX Pay software into the terminal from the USB drive. Begin by plugging in the USB drive containing the EPX Pay application into the USB transfer cable. Then you're going to flip the terminal up and plug the other end of the transfer cable into the terminal. To begin loading the software from the USB drive, we need to reboot the terminal. Begin by simultaneously holding down the minus and the yellow clear key and immediately press and hold the 4 key as soon as the white screen appears. Once the download has successfully started, a series of screens will appear. The first screen is USB mass storage and then Telium Goodyear USB. This screen will appear until the software download begins. Once the download begins, the screen will display Software Activate. This screen will appear for approximately 35 seconds while the software is downloading. The terminal will beep as the software download completes then you will see Software Activate OK displayed on the screen. The device will then reboot. This will take approximately 2 minutes where the screen will flash between blue and black before restarting the terminal. Once the terminal has restarted, it's now time for step 4, which is the remote load of the EPX Pay software. 
After the reboot, the terminal will return to the menu screen where you need to select the language settings. Select English and press the green Enter key to save. Next, you're going to select the date format. Select the format that matches month, day, and year. Press the green Enter key to move forward. Press the green Enter key again to save the date that's entered. Then you will enter the current time for your location and press the green Enter key to save. At the PBX prompt, select No and press Enter. At the contactless prompt, select No and press Enter. At the swipe prompt, select ISO 2 plus ISO 1 and press Enter. At the TMS access prompt, select IP Ethernet and press Enter. At the SSL PKI v3 prompt, select No and press Enter. At the IP address prompt, select domain name and then enter. And then for the value, you're going to key in tms.epx.com and press enter to save. At the port prompt, use the yellow clear key to clear out the existing numbers and key in 2500 and press the green key to save. Next, you will need to enter a unique nine-digit TMS identifier that will be provided to you by EPX. You will have one TMS identifier per terminal for each location. Press the green Enter key to save once you've entered the identifier number. At the Protect Download prompt, select Off and press the green Enter key. The terminal should automatically reboot. However, if the terminal does not reboot, Begin by simultaneously holding down the minus and the yellow clear key to reboot the terminal. After the terminal reboots, set the device IP connection to a static or dynamic address as appropriate for your network. Consult your company's IT department to determine whether you should use a static IP address or DHCP address. The EPX document called Ingenico Ethernet Connection contains instructions for setting up the IP address for both types of environments. Once you have your device set up to the right environment, you're going to save the Ethernet setup and then perform the remote load. Press the plus key and the green enter key to bring up the function menu. Then select Telium Manager, then select Evolution, and then select Remote Load and press the green enter key to initiate the remote load. The screen should immediately begin to download a bunch of files. This is indicating that the remote load is successfully downloading. The terminal will take approximately five minutes to complete the remote load. Once the terminal has completed the remote load, it will automatically reboot the terminal. Then you will see the EPX logo on the home screen, which indicates the software conversion has successfully been completed.